Hello, welcome to BioGrid TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. How political parties started in Rwanda. Very few countries in Africa have had their politics so centered around ethnic groups more than Rwanda. This has led to what has been described as the worst genocide since the Nazi era, where members of the majority Hutu tribe went on rampage, killing between 800,000 to 1 million Tutsis. How did things get that bad? What were the political parties in power doing while this happened? In the 1950s and early 1960s, a wave of Pan-Africanism began to sweep through Central Africa, championed by leaders such as Julius Nyerere in Tanzania, Patrice Lumumba in the Congo, and Kwame Nkrumah of Ghana. Anti-colonial sentiments were growing steadily, and the socialist platform of African unity and equality for all Africans was promoted. In Rwanda, the two major parties which mirrored the two main ethnic groups were at the fore campaigning for independence, but both had different opinions on how things would run in the independent country. The parties were the party of the Hutu Emancipation Movement, Pame Hutu, which represented Hutu interests, and the Rwandanese National Union, UNAR, which was the platform of the Tutsi. In 1959, Rumors of the death of Hutu politician Dominic Mboyumutua by the Tutsis, who had beaten him, triggered a violent retaliation, which became known as the Wind of Destruction. Hutus massacred an estimated 20,000 to 100,000 Tutsis, while thousands more, including the Tutsi monarch Muami, fled to neighboring Uganda. This event of 1959 marked a major turning point in political life in Rwanda. About 150,000 Tutsis were exiled to neighboring countries and the Tutsis who remained in the country were excluded from political power. The Rwandanese National Union UNAR, was a conservative, pro-monarchy political party founded by Francois Rukeba on 3 September 1959. The party was a staunch supporter of Tusi monarch Muami Kigeri V. Back then, Rwanda was still under Belgian administration and UNAR was the main monarchist party. The party urged for immediate independence from Belgium and wanted a hereditary Tusi constitutional monarchy. Though the party boycotted the 1960 local elections, it participated in the 1961 parliamentary elections getting 17% of the votes and winning 7 of the 44 seats in the Legislative Assembly. The party agreed to join a coalition government with the victorious Pamehutu and was handed the cabinet post responsible for cattle and public health. In December 1963, the UNAR effectively ceased to exist. An armed wing of the party had attacked some Hutu elements and in retaliation, several Tutsis were killed, including many of the Tutsi leaders. This marked the end of the UNAR party. However, elements of the armed wing persisted in carrying out attacks until 1967. The party of the Hutu Emancipation Movement, also called the Republican Democratic Movement, Pame Hutu, was a Hutu-based party which emphasized the right of the majority Hutu ethnicity to rule. It was the most important party of the Hutu Revolution of 1959 to 1961, which led to Rwanda becoming an independent republic and Hutus superseding Tutsis as the ruling group. The party was established by Gregoire Kayibanda in June 1957. Then it was known as the Hutu Social Movement, a party of Hutu nationalists who championed the emancipation of the oppressed Hutu majority. It was renamed on the 25th of September 1959 and went on to dominate the local elections in 1960. The party won 2,390 of 3,125 elected communal councils. 
In 1961, parliamentary elections were held alongside a referendum to determine whether or not to continue the Tutsi monarchical system, which at the time had Muami Kigeri V as king. In the elections, MDR Pamehutu won 35 of the 44 seats in the Legislative Assembly, whilst the referendum saw the end of the monarchy. Kaibanda set up a government comprised of Hutus and became president after independence in July 1962. By 1965, MDR Pamehutu was the only legal party in the country, and Kaibanda ran unopposed in the 1965 presidential elections and the party won all 47 National Assembly seats. Under the Pamehutu rule, Tusis were highly discriminated against and repeatedly massacred. Fearing for their lives, hundreds of thousands of them had to flee the country. In July 1973, President Kaibanda was ousted in a coup by his cousin, Major General Juvenal Habiarimana. The Pamehutu party was suspended and was officially banned two years later. In 1975, Habiarimana established the National Revolutionary Movement for Development MRND, and it became the only legal political party, effectively making Rwanda a one-party state. When elections were held in 1978, 1983, and 1988, Habia Rimana was the sole presidential candidate each time, which granted him automatic re-election. However, voters were given a choice of two MRND candidates in elections to the National Assembly. When public pressure for reforms began to mount, President Habia Rimana made known in July 1990 his plans to introduce a multi-party system in Rwanda. But on the 1st of October that year, Rwanda was invaded by the Rwandan Patriotic Front RPF, led by Major General Fred Gisarwigema, marking the beginning of a civil war. The armed wing of the Rwandan Patriotic Front RPF, which was made up of exiled Tusi people, invaded Rwanda from Uganda on the 1st of October 1990. Unfortunately, its leader, Major General Fred Gisarwigema, was killed the next day. Paul Kagame, who was away in the US on military studies, was called back to lead the RPF. Fighting raged on between the RPF and government forces. In 1993, a ceasefire was agreed on. However, fighting resumed when a plane carrying President Habiarimana and his Burundian counterparts was shot down on the 6th of April, 1994. The actual culprits being unknown, the RPF blamed Hutu extremists, while the government blamed the RPF. This led to the Rwandan genocide that left hundreds of thousands of Tusi people dead. The genocide prompted the RPF to resume their attack and eventually took control of the country in July 1994. The RPF remained the ruling party in Rwanda since its armed wing won the victory in the civil war. Paul Kagame, who led the RPF attack, has been in office as president since year 2000. He won his last re-election bid in August 2017. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video share and subscribe to our channel.